hi guys and welcome to another video now in today's video i just want to show you just my sunday evening routine it's not really cast in stone but this is usually what would happen on a sunday evening uh as we prepare for a new week with great things ahead amazing possibilities coming up in this new week and it is very important i feel to start it on the right note so i'm very glad that you're here and let's get to it now it is literally sunday evening at around 4 p.m and i'm making dinner i forgot to show you guys the amazing mess that was this kitchen before i started making dinner because you guys sunday mornings are k us in our house just getting ready to leave the house on time so we don't run late for church nobody washes dishes after breakfast nobody does anything there are clothes everywhere dirty dishes everywhere so <laughs> i first cleaned up the kitchen washed a lot of dishes before i started making dinner because honestly i don't plan to make a video but then i was like ah oh, why not share this sunday evening with these guys so um yeah so now the kitchen is basically all cleaned up now i'm preparing these greens to have with ugali and fish we are going to be having the greens will be having uh spinach and collard greens and terere i don't know what that is called in english i think it may be amaranth i don't know then people who know these things can maybe help us <laughs> but let me tell you guys the funniest thing happened if I had known I was going to make this video by then, I would have filmed that drama at the supermarket. So what happened was, I went to the supermarket and I went to buy greens. Uh, so these are the only vegetables we buy from the supermarket, by the way, when we don't go to the market. So I went to Naivas and I was buying spinach and collard. And then I saw these amazingly huge terreres. Oh my gosh, the leaves were huge. They looked so green and juicy. And someone has asked me before why we don't make traditional vegetables. I was like, mm -hmm, today is the day. So I picked two bunches, went, told the guys, yeah, I have spinach, three bunches, I have kales, two bunches, and I have terere, two bunches or three bunches, I don't remember. So the guy gives me the ticket and I go to pay. Then when we had finished checking out, we are walking out to the supermarket. This guy follows us. He's like, wait those are not terreres i'm like huh what do you mean <laughs> so he goes into our baskets into our trolley which we are driving out to the supermarket lifts up and he's like excuse me madam this is kunde and i was like oh okay i didn't know you guys me i don't i've never i mean i've not been the expert on cooking uh traditional vegetables because we rarely buy them so the guy was like, oh my gosh, how do you need it? I think he thought, I don't know whether he thought we were trying to hoodwink one over them. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. So it was a bit embarrassing that we couldn't tell the difference between Terere and Kunde. But that's what's up, man. <laughs> so I had to take them back and then get Terere. But imagine the price was the same. I don't know. I don't enjoy chopping these greens by the way i much rather prefer uh, chopping cabbage but we need iron and all other minerals that come with the green ones so you know let me know in the comment section below whether i prefer chopping these green leafy greens or cabbage to see whether you know we see it kind of do a poll down there and then let me also know what i've forgotten yes let me know just the first one i asked <laughs> my brain is real So on weekends, our kids watch TV. They only watch TV on the weekends. They don't watch TV during the weekdays when schools are open. Uh, so lately, they've really been loving Paw Patrol. And because it is not on the current TV, whatever that we have, so they watch it on the tablet. And they are loving it. Oh my gosh, every day I am being told about Paw Patrol. I don't know, Sky. I don't know who, Ryder, what not. <laughs>
Now, if you watched my video, I was talking about how to survive this hyperinflation economy. I said how <laughs> you can do that. One way we do that in our home is that we prefer to buy our own grains and then mill them. So our maize meal is not store bought. We buy it. So we bought maize, then we took it to the partial mill it was milled and that is why our ugali is not pure white but it's good because it is healthier and my mom does it for us because she is the best So as the ugali is frying away or cooking away, time to prepare the fish. Now we buy our fish deep fried, then we put it in the freezer. Although someone told me that I could find it cheaper at Gikomba. I don't know. Someone please let me know whether this is true and exactly where in Gikomba to find the fish. Because you guys know I'm always looking to reduce costs up in here. Yeah, but I buy it and then we, we, we freeze it and then when we're ready, we just remove three at a time. And we really, really, really love fish. Um, when we serve the fish, uh, we don't put for our kids the whole piece, of course, because it's full of bones. So I prefer, I put it, put some on my plate and then I remove all the bones and then I give them the fillet pieces. Yeah. For lack of a better word. Hey, let me tell you guys. <laughs> Recently we were having fish. Uh, and then I thought I had removed all the pieces of bone. Wow, watch my third, my last bone who's three years old, three and a half. Started choking on a fish bone. Lord have mercy. Oh my gosh, drama galore. Let me tell you guys. Hey, there's nothing worse than seeing your child choking. Then, 
thankfully thankfully i do have an extensive training in first aid and that came in very very handy but it's one thing to know what to do it's another thing to see your child choking but i think because of the many years of being trained in first aid i was able to just you know i was i wasn't pa and i was panicking but i knew what to do and then <laughs> My sweet help is telling me not to give him a piece of ugali, a big piece of ugali so he can swallow so he doesn't choke. Let me tell you guys, please, 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 if someone is choking, the last thing you want to do is to add one more thing for them to swallow. So please don't do that. So thankfully I did not. And I'm so glad I was there because I don't know how that would have ended up if I had not been there. So please, here is my advice to all parents everywhere. Please get some first aid training. Please get some for your house help if you can. And if you can't, teach them because now i took that as an opportunity to teach her what to do i taught her when she joined us when she came i taught her a few things here and there but that was years ago it has never happened so now this was real life lord have mercy i don't know <laughs> please 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 oh yeah okay thank you jesus for saving my son but yeah hey drama so in case you missed it as i was ranting about the choking and the fish uh, what we're having <laughs> what we're having for dessert is ice cream and then we sprinkled granola oh my gosh it is so nice uh the granola we made uh last week if you watched that video on making breakfast so so far the evening is going pretty well the kids have now gone to bed a bit late but not too late and i have a few hours before I, I also need to go to bed now if you work shift job like me mondays are not the dreaded day like for everyone else so because i'm working tomorrow but i'm working at 3 p.m so i can afford to stretch my evening just a little bit to make sure that i set up my week for success by doing just a few things like for starters okay we've run out of hand wash i have to make hand wash and then i need to make tomorrow's breakfast and then Neaten up the house because it looks like a hurricane and so on and, you know, so, on and so on and so forth. So basically that's all I want to do. Maybe, maybe do my nails. Oh, they look atrocious. But whatever I don't manage to do today, thankfully I have tomorrow morning to get over and done with before the week starts. But now the week will have already started. So you know what? Let me just start. And yeah, let's do this. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever. And in case you're wondering, again, Sunday is our helps day off. So she usually goes off like early in the morning and then she'll come back in the evening. So yeah, it is my day to step up even more <laughs> and do a bit of work around the house. And then I try to really relieve her burden on Sundays because um, because my job is a shift job. So there are some Sundays where I am at work and she doesn't get to get a day off per se. So yeah, when I'm around, I really try to relieve her burden. guys please children of god see how this my cameraman is not telling me that i have my stop stuck in my jeans ah hey sabotage in my own house eh eh somebody is filming me minutes and minutes on end is not telling me my top is embarrassing me like this so ah why like this eh hey embarrassment <laughs> I was filming for so long with my top stuck in my trouser. Ah, lucky lord, man. Uh uh. So, as I'm putting away the shopping that we did, <laughs> we do our supermarket shopping on Sundays. Um, we went one of the reasons well, I once did a video telling guys how to reduce your kitchen budget. And one of the things I say to do is when you find stuff that you normally eat, and then it is on sale stock up so now Weetabix are having and this is not sponsored by the way hashtag non-spons so 
Uh, then, what I was I saying? So, Weetabix are having, I think they're introducing a new flavor. I don't know, strawberry, vanilla. I don't know, man. But it's Weetabix. <laughs> so, they're having an offer. So, when you buy this big piece, you get a smaller piece. So, I mean, we are stocking up. So, because we are going to save money eventually. So, it's a great way to save money. Just when you find whatever you use and it's on sale, buy it and buy it in bulk. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monsters under your So as I was removing these these uh, bottles for putting away our milk, I found uh, a Christmas candle. I don't know who put them up there, up there in the sky. <laughs> so I found them and I lit it and my gosh, our kitchen is now smelling like Christmas. If you're wondering why our milk comes this way, it is because we buy milk from the ATM. I did a video on 30 things we no longer buy. That will enlighten you a lot. Um, yeah, so we buy the milk, we've already boiled it. I removed the cream because I want to use it to make butter, and so I'm, I'm sort of like stocking it away. And we put it in one liter containers and put it in the freezer. So every night we remove two liters and have them thawing on our sink for the next morning's breakfast. Until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can. to the hand wash yes we make our own hand wash it, it is very easy when i did the grocery haul video i showed how we went and bought a whole bunch of chemicals because we have not had the ingredients for a while so that's what i'm doing here and if you want to get a more detailed uh, explanation on how we go about it uh please check out that video stay in this moment forever so i can hold you in my arms i will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able Scare the monsters under your bed Deep in the game for you is all I need Until my heart gives in
now let's try to remember to clean our hand wash dispensers because <laughs> sometimes they can get so dirty until whoever is washing their hands is literally afraid to get the soap for washing their hands. I'm straightening up our living room because it looks like a hurricane up in here. And then nobody wants to wake up in the morning to a house that looks like chaos. Because the first thing, you don't want the first feeling you have in the morning is chaos and disorganization. Because it's going to disorganize the rest of your day. So, you know, we try to shine our sinks before we sleep. We try to leave our living room looking like amazing. And all the stuff that does not belong there, we take it upstairs. It might take only five minutes, but it really, really starts my day on a high note. Until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can for you. So there you have it our week is starting off on the right note on the right note yes i made some breakfast i forgot to put it here uh but i'll be showing it to you in another video uh and thanks for watching thanks for hanging out you are the best oh my gosh i hope your week is progressing well and i really appreciate you and you are the best please watch another video on this channel i'll see you over there bye Wish that I could stay in this moment forever So I can hold you in my arms I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able Scare the monsters